What is up guys? It's Soulbash and we are back with part two of the Nemesis video and we are going to level him up the rest of the way. Uh, I'm currently 64 here and I still did not get all of the surge pills. I uh, got all the way up through most of the oranges but I believe he stopped around level 59 so that's close enough close enough for a little test run and let's see what we do get into once he is up and stats 100,000 health already 32,000 plus damage okay it's pretty good and let's find him and throw him in the lineup with uh, Boric why not okay didn't lose much might at all, so once I get him leveled up, he should be an increase over Captain Sam. And let's mm, wait, speed things up, and let's get over here to some little bit harder dungeons. I want to give him a real test since he is such a beast and see what he can actually do. And let's see, do we want to run this one? Remember that one being fairly too, too easy for a level 11 one. So let's double in. I actually did beat this right there. She was a pain, but let's see. We'll go into the demons corner and auto play. And wow, immediately flitting presence. And that stuff just dropped quick. Of course, he is losing quite a bit of health pretty quick if he is taking damage. Does look like we need some more defensive abilities to him. No problem. Um, a Mega Valor would do great for that. And I'm going to slow this down and look at some of this damage. Okay, Flooding Presence is constantly hitting between 42,000 to 45,000. This special called Lethal Absorption hitting for around, was that, 212,000? And it is an AoE that draws him right there, you can see. Boom. And he is all over the place, guys. This guy is pretty awesome. and finish it off now let's take a look same stats there and he's not even leveled up to my level yet we still have some work we could do with the awakenings and look at all of the potential from evolutions we'll be trying to grab some more of these to at least evolve him one more time Ah, <sighs> but you guys know what we got something pretty special another one yes I did get him on the gunslinger and I probably spent less than a thousand diamonds to get him I was pretty excited about it because take a look at this footage guys this guy is incredibly insanely strong for a lower level character now these maps are already fairly easy for the gunslinger with the outfit wings you know the wings are ascended so he does fairly well already you know he's done well with the heels and this just amounts to the top I mean just watch down gone 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 all over the place flitting presence and this one here does not even have lethal absorption yet so he doesn't do the ability where he sucks everything into the center and then implodes which does quite a bit of damage so once we get him up some more he will be able to do that though and I believe we're gonna go all the way through to this boss this is making a pretty good combo for a lower level with Hades and Nemesis. And here comes the boss. 
and Spirit Envoy. This guy is very annoying for one. He multiplies and he has clones that shoot little purple arrows that silence you and they get very annoying. And guess what? He is doing work on that Spirit Envoy, keeping him away from me to work on that parry break and bam. Once that prayer break hits, it's game over. Flooding presents from him and gone. That easy. Incredible. And let's take a look at another run we did. Immediately he starts off with the flitting presence. He just a mass amount of damage just popping around. He's a beast. Man. I have not really got to play with the gunslinger on this much since I did this here, so I'm very excited to try to get back to it and play it some more. And this is Glacius. And just watch what he does to him. Hades is taking more damage than him at this level. And at this level, you cannot have an awakening. So it's just basically base stats from Nemesis. Working on that parry break. And also trying to keep from getting frozen. And the pets are holding up fairly well. AE goes off. Drop a smoke screen. Cunning leap. And just pedaling back and forth. Let that pet flitter all over him. Flitter. Flitter. No, it's flitting. Flitting presence, I'm sorry. And finish him off. Awesome pet. Nice addition to it. And a special sneak peek at something that's coming up, guys. This right here is part of the new PvP uh, tournament that they are having weekly now. And basically you enter a competition versus one person. It starts out you have, I believe it's 128 competitors to begin with. And every round is 10 minutes long. After the round, you do have another round. If you win, you go to the next one, which would be uh, 64. After the top 64, you have to have the top 32, then the top 16, top eight, top four top two and then the final two main rounds and I didn't get a full run at this I came in I guess after it started so I didn't get to go all the way through this but I will be sitting down this coming week and I will be covering this next week it is very interesting because didn't expect him to get back up after he died again. <laughs> I, was, I was just kind of speechless for a second and then I was like, okay, it's a two-part round. But it just doesn't stop. It continues going. It's very unique for PvP in the game. It's a lot different than what we have seen. Guys, check this out. If you have not seen this pet, Nami. She has an awesome Siren Storm ability and plus check out the Sea Witch's song which puts enemies to sleep for 5 seconds. As always guys, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.